Breaking news, it's happening. Here is the Northern verdict for Baba Hamed, the economist selling obese candidacy in the north, northern part of Nigeria. Now this is what is going on. You know he's an economist and Peter Obi wanted a man if he's going to prove to Nigerians that he wants to do a good job. By the way, a lot of people, including young Nigerians who want a better future, are contributing and giving their best. All to say to Peter Obi, if we get you into Asurok, please don't disappoint us. Do something about our road. Do something about our education. Make sure you uh, bring about initiatives that could encourage investors to come into Nigeria, whereby leading to job creation. And let not everybody will look for a way by hook or by crook to leave the country. Do what you can in the capacity of opportunity you've been given if put in the house in Asurok. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Abba, Baba Hamed, 53, is perceived as one of the few politicians in Nigeria without much debt in their political career, despite a controversial scent at the Senate that ended within a year after his election was overturned by the court. Peter Obi's decision to choose Mr. Baba Hamed as his running mate is seen by some as a way of avoiding more popular politicians bundled with allegations of corruptions. But the Labour Party candidates only fall back on the economist and university owner after unsuccessful merit talk with Rabi Okonkoso, some quarters have said, a former Kano state governor and candidate of the new Nigerian People's Party. Mr. Baba Hamed is from a rich family with a good standing in northern Nigeria. Why his clean image may be an asset for the Labour Party, he faces a battle ahead with political warlords in his native northwest, a region that is stronghold of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC. Having won the House of uh, House of Representative seat under the opposition, the All Nigerian People Party (ANPP) in, in 2003, Mr. Baba Hamed, also known to have been a ruling party political party, but until but unlike in 2003, the then ANPP was bask in the popularity of his presidential candidate, Muhammad Buhari. He had to win this time under the Labour Party, less known in the North for now. An economist, a banker, Mr. Baba Hamed, is known for many things, but his disdain for corruption is what stands him out to many people. In 2003, he was one of the federal lawmakers who... who frowned at a third tenor of Olushe Gwobasanjo and then in 2021 he is now the, is now for a special prayer is calling for prayer against corruption and ensuring that Nigeria gets the right leadership as he continue to explain and move the candidacy of Peter Obi forward in the north ensuring that everyone see the kind of man Nigeria should have for leader so this is what is happening um you just heard a brief background of who this man is a man who is from a rich home has two universities has been uh, a house of representative member under the then anpp when uh, buhari was the party head of that you know in the north and all that and um, is one of the few people who is who has a squeak who has a clean you know a reasonably clean image from corruption and that's why peter will be you know going around picking look very well and said you know what let's go for a man who could potentially bring you know a lot of difference a man who people could see and um, you know want to be part of you know uh, because he's someone who currently you know is uh is someone who many people can vouch for, even in the north. A lot of the northerners can say, indeed, this man, you know, has a disdain for corruption, you know, and that's why he works hard. 
He works hard. He has two universities. He's an economist and he's doing all he possibly can to earn a decent living without, you know, uh, I'm not saying he's a saint. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he's a saint. That's not the point. Okay. Don't think I'm saying he's a saint. No, I'm saying this is one person, one man who, you know, to a large extent is, is, you know, devoid of all the, you know, rumored people embarrassed this money took that, did this, did that, you know, is one of those persons who is, you know, free to an extent. And so Peter will be decided to pair with this man to show to Nigerians that they are coming to end the reign of corruption, you know, to ensure that Nigerians move forward and those who have continued to put the country in a bad light, siphoning money for themselves. How, how bad can that be? You know, you come into a nation and all you're really after is how to get money for yourself without thought for the people. I mean, I don't, Nigerians are not greedy people. And I mean, are not people who are too pushy and we want to be on you 24-7 or, or, or petty people. So that's the right word. You're not petty. Okay, going after everything you have not done. Just make sure our hospitals are working fine. Now, a new index came out, you know, uh, uh, recently in the United Kingdom. Do you know that 61%, 61%, 161 of the nurses we have in the UK, United Kingdom, are Nigerian nurses? 61%. That is to tell you how our nurses are very well trained, very well trained men and women who know their act you know in nigeria you know the way we study now you know now <laughs> you go read for nights no lights you go to read you go learn the thing even if you never see how the telescope be before you go you go you go describe them then when you go uk you can't see how they work real life they can't give you hands on then you become the best because you learn through the 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 the, the chains of clarity you were there, you, you gave your all, you did everything, you learned, you were disciplined and burning the midnight candle. You know, say if we if we get the opportunity when all those people for abroad then get uh, they're, they're not go get they're not go get second class for, for not go get second class. So only first class. The school said they would, they would ask whether you show some of the right results. Because that's how fine brains Nigeria have and how hard working Nigerians truly are. You see, so this is why. You know, we must ensure we do everything humanly speaking possible to bring our country, you know, out of this current predicament so that we can have a real future for everyone. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.